All right, so this is for exercise 21.44. It gives us two charges, Q1 and Q2. It says that Q1 is a negative charge, Q2 is a positive charge. Q1 is over at 0 0.6, 0 0.8, while Q1 is at solid just 0 0.6 and at a y value of zero. So we're gonna give this a quick draw. We're going here, we're gonna have Q2 around here, Q1 around here, right? And as we know, this one's negative, and electric fields point in towards negatives. This one's positive, so it points out. This one's a negative four charge, and this one is a positive six charge. And then we're also going to go ahead and give us a little sketch for this one. It's 0.6, and this is 0.8. This is on number one, right? And then so this length right here, if you go ahead and do the Pythagorean theorem, you're actually going to find it's one. So that's just setting us up. So the first thing we want to do is calculate the magnitude of the net electric field at the origin due to both of these charges. All right, for A, we're going to start with this equation. E equals KQ over R squared. So we're going to start with point 0.1 first. So we get K times Q, the charge, 4 times 10 to the negative 9. And then R is 1 squared, which is what we found right here. And if you solve this out, this is equal to 35.95. And remember that k is equal to about 9 times 10 to the 9th. So the thing is, this 35.95 is in this direction. And we want only an x and y component. So that's going to be the easiest way for us to solve this. So what we need to do is find the angle that that is at. So we're going to use the law of sines. Don't know what that is it's a ratio so this is a 90 degree angle so it's 9 90. so the sine of this angle over 1 is the same thing as the sine of this angle over 0 0.8 which is what you do right there so you multiply these two divide by 1 and then the inverse sine of that to get an x of 53.13 degrees and that's that angle that we're using so now to find our x and y components of this 35.95 times cosine of 53.13 is equal to 21.57 and that is in the x direction so i'm going to go put the i right there to find the y one we're going to use a sine of 53.13 which is equal to 28.8, and that is in the mm, j direction. Great, and now we're gonna do for point two. K times six times 10 to the negative ninth over 0 0.6 squared is equal to about 150 point, mm, yeah, 150. It's about equal to 150. Um, like 149.8, really. So, and this is in the I direction. However, this point two is a positive point charge, so it points out. So it's actually pointing this into the left. So it's going to be a negative, and it is still in the I direction. So now we're going to go ahead and sum up our, our x and y's. So we have 21.57i minus 150i plus 28.8j. Just go ahead and treat those as variables to get negative 128.4i plus 28.8j. And then the next thing to find the magnitude is using the Pythagorean theorem with these two numbers. So that is simply the Pythagorean theorem of 128.4 squared plus 28.8 squared, which is going to give you about 131.59. And this is a Newton's over Coulomb's. This is an electric or er, field. Yeah, electric field. So then part B is asking to calculate the direction of this field. So for that, we are going to use more triangles. So we have these numbers here, the negative 124 in the x direction and the 28.8 in the 
y direction. So let's go ahead and draw these. So we have this negative over here and a positive in the y. So it's going to look something like this. So we're essentially trying to find this direction. Negative 128.4 and 28.8. So to find this angle right here, we can use tangent. So tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent, which in this case would be the 28 over the 128.4. So tan inverse of 28.8 over 128.4 gets you 12.64 degrees. But that is this angle right here, and we are actually looking for this one because it does say to measure counterclockwise from the positive x, x axis, but what's this one? So we are doing 180 minus this 12.64 to get us about 167 degrees. So that is the direction that it's at, and that's going to be about this line from this angle. We have 167 degrees with a magnitude of 131.59 newtons per coulomb.